once drums came into the picture, that took over everything. And it was just all about drums and just practicing like crazy. Once you do it so many hours in, in so many days, and now you're doing it on tour, and that's completely exhausting. At the end of a tour, you kind of want to come home and maybe focus on some other parts of your life that rather than just like playing drums all the time. You try to be a more well-rounded person and, and keeping it kind of tied to music and art and bringing it all together. I try to have something else that, you know, triggers like another part of my brain. Growing up in a musical family uh, with a dad who's a drummer, you know, I think it's just kind of dialed into my DNA uh, to go at music with a passion. My dad is Max Weinberg, and he has spent the majority of the last 40 years uh, playing uh, with Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Now kind of having this relationship with my dad where we talk about like our own paths where he was at when he was 26, you know, and him starting to play with Bruce when he was about my age now. More than anything, what, uh, what he and my mom have instilled in, in myself and my sister uh, has been just like, find something you love and just chaotically pursue it and just do it all the time. I didn't necessarily take to music like as the very first real passion in my life. Like my first passion was hockey, I was a goalie. That's how I channeled my, my physicality, my energy, my passion, my drive. But soon after I started playing hockey, I started to find music that spoke to me. Without anybody like telling me, like my dad wasn't like, hey, go jam on our drum set in the basement or whatever, I just set it up. And that became another way for me to channel, you know, young, chaotic, frenetic energy. And so my dad being a musician, it allowed me to look at this whole like musical landscape. You know, you gotta work hard and you gotta bust your ass, but it's all like, it's all within my reach. I found heavy metal and this, you know, this shield that I could wear throughout my life to kind of protect me from a world that I felt didn't like me very much. Uh, that was huge as a young kid and art was the same way. It's nice to play music a lot and then come home and now focus on this like really, you know, huge passion uh, that I have. I learn a lot from taking the volume down from crazy loud drums and just painting in silence most times. I'm able to occupy a headspace that I can lose myself for 10 hours. When you're mixing up paint, you have to find the subtle nuance in like what is appropriate for this part, much like choosing a symbol in a recording setting or a live setting. It's just what makes this the most musical, what makes this the most expressive. Drums and painting both being, you know, a serious, tangible and tactile thing that you're doing with your hands. You know, it's a lot of training the hands to work with your brain and execute something, you know, on the drums. It takes practice and just like executing something with, with painting and, and getting it, you know, getting the drummer that's in your head to be the drummer that, you know, that is your body. And, and same with painting, to be, you know, the painting that's in your head to develop the sense of light and form and all that to, you know, to learn how to properly express what's in your head onto a canvas. I think maintaining like a balance of like mental health for myself is, you know, I have the loud, bombastic, crazy energetic and, and you know, energy depleting way of playing drums and playing music. And almost in the antithesis to that, it is as energetic 
as playing drums and focusing, you know, expression and, and passion and love for uh, for creating something. But it's it's a total yin to that yang. It's like very quiet, very meditative, you know, oil painting when you're just doing layer after layer after layer and blending and making sure like everything makes sense and it takes me a long time to, to do it. It teaches me a lot of patience and that's something that does not come easily to me. But now I take my time with it and let it grow organically and it does become a, a way for me to to meditate, it's a good flow that I think I've found. And being in a place like Nashville, you can really tap into that. Not being originally from here, you know, everybody thinks it's like all country everywhere. And I still love New Jersey and New York, but to me it started to feel like I'm on the subway and I'm like inches from somebody, but there's no like, back and forth between us. But here, I feel like it's so easy for everybody to just kind of be interested in each other's lives. And that like, that was meaningful to me. So every type of musician is here. All people who have moved to Nashville from different parts of the country. I don't think any of us lived in Nashville before uh, I lived two in years New York ago. And then San Diego. Yeah. So I moved to Chicago, Nashville. Manhattan. Yeah. Chicago. Chicago. Right, yeah. So Manhattan. you were I was living in Florida. Florida. Both of them from Florida. Oh, he's from Alaska. Alaska, yeah. Alaska. And so now we're all in Nashville. Alaska to Nashville. Yeah. Crazy. Alaska. Do this. Then we do this. A great example of why it's such a blessing to be here is finding friends of mine like Jade and Joe and Ben and Dane. We all know each other from bands and, and, and like at shows around the world. And it's just as easy as just like, hey, we got a bunch of drum sets set up and we can just all play at the same time and everybody doing their own thing. Everybody has a different style and different way that they play, but we all come together as drummers, as you know, lovers of this instrument and just music in general. And we don't need to talk about what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go for it. Being able to hang out outside of Nashville and just, you know, in a beautiful place that has this like lush scenery and you can have bonfires, you can be surrounded by animals and cook food and stuff. Like, I, I, that's just the, that's the life, you know? That's what it's all about. So celebrate that we get to do this. You can, like feel it start yeah, to yeah. want to leave. Mm -hmm. hey, we don't want to leave. Yeah. We're just a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it there for like, oh, I can feel it like, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you can feel it. it's really cool. I found so much inspiration in this guy had his own life, you know, however old he is before he came here and we met. And now that we've met, now we can, you know, form something together. And in Nashville, there's so much of that. Ooh, it's almost unspoken here. Like we don't need to talk about how, how much it means to, to all of us. Just, we all know where we're all coming from. So that's been um, kind of like a key thing for me to just keep in my mind. It's just like, just go for it. One, two, three. That looks unsafe, just brutally all the <laughs> Being here 
or finding out that there's totally like-minded people that I can, you know, I can share and be friends with and, and just have that sense of community and just energy. It's all rooted in just having fun and expressing yourself and, and that's what I get out of it. We're all still figuring out life <laughs> and, and, it, and it's great to be able to share that with a lot of other people here. Oh man. Yo, you got some <laughs> introspective on the side. Yeah. Bumming me out. Yeah. <laughs>